Alright, in this video, we are going to connect the front-end login form with the back-end login API. So open auth.service.ts file and over here, first let's create a property that points to the backend login URL. So private underscore login URL is equal to HTTP localhost port 3000 slash API slash login. Next, let's define a login user method that makes the actual HTTP call. Now this method again accepts a user object which would be email and password. Then we make the HTTP request. This dot HTTP dot post. Login is a post request. Now again, the arguments, the first one is the URL. So this dot underscore login URL. And then the second argument is the user object. And we add type any to be able to return the observable without any errors. And at the beginning of the statement, let's add the return keyword. So in simple words, the login user method accepts a user object which contains an email and a password and returns the response that the backend API sends whenever it is available. In our case, the backend API responds with either an error or the details of the user. All right, now that we have the service, let's connect the service to the component. So back in the login component, first import the auth service and then inject it. Import and then in the constructor, inject it. Next in the login user method, we are going to call the service passing the user data, which is the login user data. So instead of logging to the console, we're going to say this dot underscore auth dot login user and we pass in this dot login user data. Now calling is not enough as we need to subscribe to the observable that is returned. So dot subscribe. When we subscribe, we either get the response data or an error. For now, let's just log them to the console. Response console.log response. If we get an error, let's log that to the console as well. All right, our connection is now complete. Let's go back to the browser and test it out. Fill in the details and click on login. Now, if we test with invalid credentials, we get back a 401 error. With valid credentials though, so a at a.com and password of a, if you click on login, you should see the details of the user. So if I expand this, email is a at a.com and password is a. All right, so the user login is now complete. Let's go over the login flow to make sure we understand this right. We begin with the front end, login component. The login button calls the login user method. In the login user method, we call the login user service passing in the user data. Now the service makes an HTTP call to the backend API. The backend API returns the logged in user details as the response. This response is then sent asynchronously to the method calling the service. So in the component, we subscribe to the service and then get the response and we log that to the console. So you might wonder, wait, is that it? How do we know if the user is logged in on subsequent requests? Now, before we come to that, let's quickly finish up the UI for regular and special events.